Hello and welcome back to our Fashion Basics series. In the last two videos I showed you how to wind a bobbin and how to top thread the industrial machine. And in this video I'll be showing you how to stitch a simple seam. Before we start to sew, we want to make sure that we have a correct sort of posture for sitting at the sewing machine. So we need to make sure that we're at the right sort of height that's comfortable for us. Two feet on the pedal. Uh, the right foot in front will give us the opportunity to operate the sewing machine while the left foot will stop the machine. So there are two dials, this dial here which is the stitch length regulator and you can see we have one to four marked on it, number one being a short stitch and number four being a long stitch and our advice is that you should use number three when stitching because it will give you a good length of stitch so if you make a mistake it's not too difficult to undo. With this dial here we advise you not to touch it um, while you're here in college because it's set by the technician. However, if you have a domestic sewing machine at home then you would possibly need to alter your tension depending on the type of work you are doing. So at the moment the presser foot is down. There is one lever here which operates the presser foot but normally we would use the knee lift which is this lever here and we operate it by placing our knee against it and as we do the presser foot will rise so that we can put the fabric underneath and then we can release the knee lift and the foot comes back down. Before switching on the machine we should make sure that any long hair is tied back and that we haven't got any loose clothing for example scarves they should be removed beforehand and then we're going to turn the machine on and we're going to give it a couple of seconds just to warm up and then we're going to make sure we hold on to the thread before we start stitching that stops the thread um, knotting at the back of the work and we're going to press the right foot and we're going to go forwards for a couple of stitches okay and then I'm just going to show you how to reverse just to secure your um, seam if you're making one so I'll just show you by pressing on this bar and then we'll go back for a few stitches and then we can release it and then we can go forwards. And then when we finish, make sure that the pulley is up. We don't turn the machine off. Raise the presser foot and then we're going to pull our work to one side release the presser foot and then snip our threads and that's it. In the next video I'll be showing you how to use the overlocker.